Hello, and welcome back to yet another episode of the Plague Doctor Stories. As always, I'm your host, the Plague Doctor. Do you remember the monster that used to live under your bed? Your parents told you it was just your imagination. Maybe it wasn't. Today's story is The Monster Underneath the Bed In a sleepy old house nestled on the edge of town lived an elderly man named Mark. His days were peaceful and uneventful spent tending to his garden and reminiscing about times long past. But as the sun set each day a familiar unease settled in his heart. Decades ago, when Mark was just a young boy, he had been tormented by a creature that lived beneath his bed, a monster, a hulking and shadowy figure that had plagued his nights with fear and sleepless hours. Mark's parents had assured him that it was just a figment of his imagination, but the terror he felt remained deeply ingrained. One stormy night, as the wind howled and rain tapped on the window panes, Mark heard a soft, sinister creaking emanating from his bedroom. The hair on his neck stood on end as he crept towards the doorway, trembling with a mixture of curiosity and dread. The creaking floorboards echoed through the hallways, drawing him closer to his childhood fears. Pushing open the bedroom door, Mark's eyes widened in disbelief. There, standing before him, was the monster he had never truly forgotten. Its eyes gleamed with a strange mixture of mischief and recognition. The creature seemed to have aged as Mark had, yet its malevolent aura remained unchanged. Hello, Mark, it hissed in its voice, echoing like a distorted thunder. Did you really think you could escape me forever? Mark's heart raced, his old fear returning with a vengeance. He was paralyzed, unable to summon the courage to face the monster that had haunted his past. The room grew darker, the air heavier and the monster's laughter filled the space. The creature's fingers extended, beckoning Mark closer. With each step, the world around him twisted and contorted, his surroundings melting into a surreal nightmare. The edge of the bed seemed to stretch and elongate like a gaping mouth ready to consume him. As if in a trance, Mark stumbled and was pulled beneath the bed by the monster's relentless grip. His voice was silenced by a wave of darkness. The room returned to an eerie stillness. Days turned into weeks, and the once peaceful house remained untouched, a shroud of mystery enveloping it. Mark was never seen again. His disappearance, a haunting enigma that plagued the town for years to come. The tale of an elderly man and the monster under the bed became a cautionary tale, a chilling reminder of the power that fear could hold over a person's life. And so, the sleepy old house stood as a silent witness, forever bearing the memory of Mark's vanishing. The monster under the bed had claimed its final victim, and the town whispered stories of his fate, a somber reminder that some fears can become so consuming they drag us into the darkness from which they cannot escape. Thank you. Subscribe.